Now, art doesn't have to be elitist. That is the message of a new podcast that's been likened to a desert island discs for art. Each week, the historian and writer Dr Laura Jane Foley will interview a well-known guest about an artwork that has special meaning for them, and she joins us in the studio now. Thanks for doing so. Why did you think you wanted to do this podcast? Well, I'm passionate about... Uh, making people excited about art and making them realise that everybody's equal in front of an artwork. And I wanted to make art a part of our conversation, our daily conversation. I think sometimes people see it as a far off thing or an elitist thing or something not for them. But art is something that it is a great equaliser. So that's why I started the show. You, you mentioned it there, you mentioned it in the introduction, this sort of um, assumption that art is a bit elitist. Is there something to that though? You know, the cost, I know a lot of galleries of course in this country are free, but the cost of going to some uh, you know, if you want to go and see a specific Picasso exhibition, it often does cost 17, 20 pounds or something. Is it as accessible as you really think? Well, it is. I mean, the government has put a lot of money into ensuring that uh, entry to our major galleries and museums is free. And I'm really pleased that successive governments of, of different political persuasion have continued that. Yes, uh, those big blockbuster shows are very expensive. But, you know, you can still go and see a Picasso without going to that exhibition. Uh, it is really just publicity for the gallery, if you, if you, if you like, really. Okay. Um, tell us about some of the guests that you've had on the podcast and how do you source them? Because it's an interesting range. Yeah, well, I was really keen to have a wide variety of guests. So we've got artists like Anita Klein, Jane McAdam-Freud, politicians. We have Brooks Newmark, uh, the former Conservative MP, John Burko, the Speaker of the House of Commons. He's coming up in a few weeks. Writers. It was really trying to... Uh, cast the net wide and have lots of different guests that hopefully people will enjoy. Listening. And when you're in conversation with them, because we were talking just before this, I am not an art expert. I enjoy going to galleries occasionally, but I'm one of those people that will stand in front of a painting and I could say, oh, I like that and I don't like that, but I can't really explain with any expertise why. And I'm worried about not getting the message or that I'm not getting what the artist yeah. is trying to say. And this is what really worries me um, as an art historian, that people feel it's not for them. And I want people to have confidence in front of an artwork because, you know, if you don't like something, that's OK. And just saying, I don't like it, or even that you do like it, it's about feelings, it's about emotions, it's about having a connection to a work of art. You don't need to know uh, the, the historical background about, you know, what an artist intended or, or what an art historian says is being depicted in this. What do you like? Do, you, do the colours speak to you in a certain way? What, do you, what does it remind you of in your own life? You know, these are the things that matter when you're in front of an artwork, what you feel. And do does that like come it? across with your guests? Oh, not definitely. all of them are absolutely No, experts. absolutely not. I mean, some are, some, some are very interested. So the, the very first show, Brooks Newmark is very interested in, in Andy Warhol, and he tells a fantastic tale of being in Andy Warhol's New York studio. Wow. It's amazing. It's a really great episode, but it's unusual. Mm. So I have Belle Mooney, the writer, on uh, in a couple of weeks' time, and she talks about going to the Walker Art Gallery in Liverpool as a young girl and falling in love with uh, the Virgin and Child in Glory by Murillo. And she was a young girl, and she just saw in this depiction of the Madonna a, 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 a mother, um, someone reassuring. Absolutely, but she, she, found, she found reassurance in front of that artwork and it was a very personal connection to art and it was it was lovely to hear just to finish you must tell us of course the name of the podcast and where we can find it it's called my favorite work of art and it's on acast and itunes and wherever you get your podcast from okay and accessible for someone like me who's Absolutely. maybe a bit of an art lover <laughs> uh, dr laura jane foley thank you for coming in thanks for having me uh, still to come here on